Hello! In this video, we will be generating our own wallet address. So we will be able to generate a new XP account, which should contain a certain prefix after the R of the account. So this is basically a project I checked out from GitHub, so Wind, uh who is part of the XUM app, so who is developing the XUM app, uh, published uh, one of his codes. Uh, for generating your own accounts. So you can also see in GitHub here. So we'll be posting that. So it did two minor changes quickly. So I checked out the master branch and I changed the regular expression because it was doing it for the vanity account, so the two formats, but I wanted to have the old one. So I changed it to the R here so you can quickly see my changes. So I just uh, removed um, the x dot, so I, I changed it that I just want the R to prefix, um, and uh, I'm not using the X address, I'm just using the normal address. So you can see here there was the decoded address, but I just want to do it with the normal one. So it's now quite easy, so you just have to make one call, you call on a call, call a node, um, then call the index.js, then I'm going to say I want to use four uh, threads to do that, and for example I want an XRP at the beginning of my address. And now I just click enter, and now it's calculating an address which has XR or XRP in front of it. So to quickly understand that, so um, we're basically not doing nothing else than going through lots of combinations. So we've got now an address which has an XR9, so an XR at the beginning. So now it's just calculating lots and lots of addresses. So I'm also going to flip it quickly because I'm going to showcasing it on this device again. So I just have to find the button for, ah, uh, there it is, so we can flip it, right? So we've got another address, XR. Uh, v, X or H, and so it's random looking. So it's basically brute forcing. So I'm just uh, uh, just generating random seeds for accounts, and then getting it. So one quick note here. So uh, for example, somebody, some of you might think, what if I randomly like calculate your account address? And uh, th then it would be able to steal all your funds, wouldn't I? So um, in regards to that, so we've got, so let's go quickly through the combinations. We've got A to Z, lowercase, 26, these are 26 uh, uh, combinations, so different characters. Then we've got A to Z, uppercase, 26, and we've got 0 to 9, which are 10 different. Uh, letters. So the uppercase O, the low, the, uh, the zero, the one, and the L are uh, not allowed. So meaning that we've got a total of before that of 62 minus four, which are not allowed here. So we've got 58 different um, characters which can be used. And now we just have to calculate quickly. So we've got so an address has I think up to um, 35 characters. But let's quickly check here. So I'm just gonna copy an address here. And as you can see here, this part here has um, 32 characters. So the select is in this case 32. Okay, so meaning that the, uh, that if it get, uh, that one position can have 58 different uh, states. And we've got 32 in total. So it's 58 to the power of 32. That many addresses can be generated, and that's quite a lot. And also correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong here, uh, but basically it's like yeah, 2.6 uh, times uh, 10 to the power of 56. So that's a lot. And currently about 3,000 I think XOP addresses are uh, active. So we can just quickly also check it here in the on the ledger exposed app so we're just gonna go to the uh, rich list stats and we can see here yep we've got three million accounts on the XOP ledger so the chances of me randomly generating one of your, your accounts is three million divided by that here and it, it's nearly zero it's not zero but it's so insignificantly low that you could call it zero so that's that and uh, we've got now some accounts and uh, all of them start with XR but we don't have a P there so it doesn't matter for now. So uh, if you have your account you like then you just go there and copy the secret here. So we've got the account and then there's the secret, okay? And for example if we want the account XRD or XRGT then I'm, go I'm going there saying right click I'm going to copy the secret and then I'm going to make some app 
And then I'm gonna so set the password to one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna go to switch accounts. I'm gonna call the add account here. I'm gonna call import an existing account, full access. I'm gonna enter the family seed. Then I'm gonna just copy and paste that here. And I'm all set. So now I've got my address which I was looking for. So it's as simple as that. Now the only thing you have to do is fund the account. So whatever. Uh, generated, generated, generated. So now the only thing I have to do is um, right, fund this account and I can already use it. So I hope this was interesting for you or helpful to you. And well, see you in the next video.